Hey everyone and welcome back. If you're new around here, we are Jack and Joe and that little guy is our ferry co-pilot and currently Frank. We are on a big trip around Europe in our van and in this video we explore Portugal's southwest coast and its beautiful beaches as well as discover just how strict Portugal's laws and wild camping are. If you're looking for some travel inspiration for this beautiful country, you've come to the right place. Click subscribe and come along for these wild journeys in Portugal. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. So after, we've basically been on a campsite for the past week whilst this one here does a dissertation. Um, working really, really hard. We've actually been on a really nice campsite um, in Figueira. Now this week we're gonna head up the southwest coast of Portugal um, and basically see the, the amazing beaches along, along the coast of that national park. We have heard that wild camping is really, really hard and they're cracking down on things. So we're gonna go see, we'll take you guys along with us and basically we're just gonna wild camp our way. If it says no, well then we'll find uh, my home area or somewhere else to stay. If it says yes, then we'll stay the night because we've stayed in some awesome places along the Algarve um, wild camping. So yeah, you ready to go? Is that the ice cream truck? I don't know, but it's... Someone's blaring out some music. Anyway, yeah. right, let's hit the road. Let's go explore some more beautiful Portugal because we have fallen in love with this country. We were on our way to the first spot of the day by this incredible beach called Praia de Vale dos Homens. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. Right, we're gonna go check out this beach. Something I can help you with? Oh, you want this, do you? Go on then, let's go. This way, where's Joe? Go on. There is a life Yet again, we found ourselves in another empty beach paradise in the off season. The perfect place for us three to stroll, explore, chase and fetch, as well as take in the nature of this place. We spent the afternoon here and we were treated to an exceptional sunset that we really didn't want to leave. We wish we could park here overnight. But we're not going to, are we, Joe? Because we're rule abiders. And also, there's a house there. House there. They used to learn a lesson from Scotland and just put donation boxes up and, like, just say, come between, you know, you have to leave by a certain time tomorrow. Even in low season, there's been barely anyone around it. I don't know. Anyway, I could give you loads of ideas, Portugal. But mm -hmm. we're going to go find a campsite or a motorhome there. Joe and Frank are ready. Well, he's not in his bed yet. He's not in his seat yet. He's not got his seatbelt on. Oh. See, Joe is safety first all the time. All the time. So we found a campsite for the night. It's 15 euros, which is quite steep, probably at the top end of how much we pay. You know, 10's the sweet spot. Um, still cheaper than the UK. Uh, it's in a lovely part of Portugal. We've barely spent money on campsites on this trip. Um, and I don't think we'll probably spend too much on campsites beyond this national park, right by a beach. Checkout's not until three o'clock tomorrow. That's the campsite. This is a Joe, and we're going to go on a walk. The campsite we were staying on was only a 15 minute walk from Jambagira do Mar, a sleepy beach town with the most incredible cliff views at the heart of the National Park. The National Park itself is a protected zone on the southwest of Portugal. It stretches for around 150 kilometres and is home to deserted beaches, rare flora and rare fauna. From up high you can see the rawness of some of the beaches themselves, with plenty of beach coves along the coast that you can walk or climb steps down to, to explore. We didn't, because of this amazing viewing platform, which we sat on for about an hour or so, losing ourselves in the sounds of the crashing waves on the shore. What's that about Portugal? one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. It is just amazing. I think it helps that it's low season though, right? Yeah, and it's not too hot. But also I think that there's like dramatic and beautiful and I think that Portugal's beautiful, whereas like places we've been like Torres del Paine and like Patagonia, that's like dramatic and beautiful. Yeah, this is like, you don't need to put in too much effort to go to the beauty, do you? No. Especially on this coast, like you can drive and then walk and you don't have to walk too far to like see this. Like, this is just insane. 
after a lovely walk along the beach, drive on to our next spot. Uh, and to be honest, it looks like wild camping might be off the menu for the national park, but it's really not being a problem because we're going to enjoy the sea anyway. But yeah, there's like a cheaper campsite along the road and along the coast. And hopefully we'll be able to get there in time for sunset and we can get a nice spot and just watch the sunset, which is what happens when the sun sets. Sun sets, but yeah, let's go. My will is strong with the place to leave. In the morning I hung best We actually lucked out with this campsite. It had beautiful views down to Ilia de Pasaguera, so I said that wrong. And we were able to find a great spot to set up camp for a few days. It was 15 euros a night, which seemed to be the going rate for sites in the park. But with views like this, we really didn't feel like complaining. In fact, we liked the spot so much we stayed for two nights. We saw incredible sunsets like this one. We were able to bird watch from the van onto the meadow nearby and we chilled out while we got some work done. And while Joe was putting the finishing touches to her paper, on, Frank on. and I went on a little adventure. Taking in the scene, and I guess it just dawned on me that like this is probably the most free that we've been, maybe ever. We don't have a job, we don't have a mortgage, we don't have, we just don't have any expectations about what we want to get. Obviously, Joe has a dissertation, I've got my master's to do, but they're interests of ours. Like I've had time to go bird watching, I've had time to take photos, check out our Instagram. Um, I've had time to take photos, film loads of stuff. But yeah, just being able to invest time into our passions and, and, and enjoy life. After that moment of clarity, cheers Socrates, we watched another beauty of a sunset before we were back on the road heading up the National Park. So we just left the campsite, well we're leaving the campsite right now. Um, yeah, it's been good. We've filled up, we're ready to go. We're gonna go get some lunch now and find, just think about what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. Little spot for lunch, look at that. Oh, wow. So I think we're going to wave goodbye to this part of the National Park, or well, well, the South West, uh, oh my god, words, the South West Atlantic National Park and the Algarve. We've had like what, two weeks and maybe a little bit longer, kind of studying and working uh, next to some incredible beaches. We've had some really good day parks, day park outs. We've stayed on some pretty good campsites. Um, but we're going to head up the coast because we're going to go see a friend of ours who says that the surfing up there is awesome and we're going to dust off uh, our surfing now skills. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this because of the wind now. We left that about four years in the past. We're going to try and surf again and I don't know how it's going to go but um, you can also wild camp by the beach there. So let's head over there after one final game of fetch with Digger Boy over here. Oh my god, that's a big hole. Safety for that, we have to fill it back in. You right, bad? If anyone wonders why there's about a million holes up and down the uh, Atlantic coast and the Algarve, um, I think we found the cause. Coastal erosion is caused by this guy. I'll park up at the end of the day. And Joe's just making sure that we get the best view by cleaning the window. That is absolutely. Oh my God. Wow. But yeah, Joe's just cleaning the windows, you know, making sure that we've got this amazing view on point. So I think we're going to try and stay here tonight. We'll let you know how we get on. But it's really, really quiet. Um, I'm parked for night. People say it's great. A few, two other vans, but beautiful. If you're watching this video and thinking, God, they're not doing anything else apart from walking along the cliffs, looking at beaches. I mean, it's essentially, Portugal. 
It's amazing, it's beautiful though, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna go surfing tomorrow, hopefully. But apart from that, it's just walking around and just kind of drinking in all of their amazing beaches. Drinking it in. Drinking it in. Just taking it all, all of the beaches in, even outside of the national park, which is still amazing. Like this one. I should be the last to know. The next day we were headed off to find some waves, some friends and some surf. Right, we've bought our wetsuits from a well-known shop called Decathlon, which is actually pretty decent value. And it turns out that the wetsuits that we used to have in England were not good enough. Terrible. Terrible, but these ones look better. And now it's gonna, now we're gonna go surfing while Frank's not coming, unfortunately. I wish he was. Wish could get the we'll get skateboarding up to scratch first. I mean, he needs to get comfortable in the water first and foremost, doesn't he? To get yeah. back if you watched the last video, or one of our Spain video, still, he's not comfortable in the water yet. It's getting better. One day, one day we'll get you surfing, bro. Anyway, should we get ready to go surf? Hello, we got stuck here, surfing, walking and exploring Balear and surrounding area. We got beat up by the waves, but slowly but surely we relearned the basics of surfing. And actually we were on our way back to developing a bit of a surfing addiction. A few days turned into a few weeks here, with a few trips to Lisbon and Sintra in between. I even managed to finish my dissertation, so we can stop banging on about it in every video now. This was a special pocket of Portugal, and we will definitely be back again later this year to soak up the winter sun and take on the famous Portuguese waves once more. We're just going to end this video here. Uh, as you've probably seen, we weren't able to wild camp in the national parks, but we actually stayed in some pretty amazing uh, campsites, to be honest, and they weren't too expensive, like 15 euros. And outside the national parks, we've stayed in some awesome places that have just had incredible views. So. If you think about going to Portugal and it's been it's put you off because you think, oh, I can't go to Portugal, you can't, can't wild camp in the national parks. There's so much more beauty and just awesomeness to Portugal that's outside of that one national park. Yeah. Like in the Algarve that we showed in our last video and hopefully as we head up north of Lisbon towards Porto and a few of the national parks in our next video, you'll see even more of the beauty of Portugal, a country that we are fast falling in love with and we may eventually live here. I think we're just going to become Portuguese. Well, it'll take us five years and hopefully we can get some sort of... As long as we just have Portuguese names. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> we, we will be back to Portugal and do all the bits that we didn't, didn't get to do. I mean, we've done quite a bit. But yeah, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. And yeah, let us know if you have any questions about Place We Parked or any questions about just traveling around Portugal. See you in the next one. Thanks again for watching everyone. Whack a comment down below if you have any questions or thoughts in the video. And you can watch the start of our European adventure by clicking on our Van Life Europe playlist. And as always, for regular updates, make sure you follow us on our Instagram. And make sure you check out next week's video where we make a mad dash north to experience rural Portuguese mountains up high in Penedo Guerish National Park. As we realise we are swiftly running out of time in Europe. More on that soon.